thought I'd come on with the hobbies I've been doing for indoor. Of course, I'm crocheting on my shawl. I did this diamond painting. This one's a partial diamond painting. And no, I haven't gotten any frames yet. I haven't shopped for frames. And there's a cabin on the lake. I don't know if you can see where it's darker, where the dock is. There is a boat there. But. And I'm working on this one. I have one I haven't opened yet and two on the way. So that's been keeping me busy. Before I took you outside, I just wanted to show her. Oh, her collar's messed up. Because I keep picking her up. I don't know if you can see. It's not really silk, but it's almost a silky material. It's really nice. I love it. Anyway, I just wanted to show her. She looked a little better with me pulling the sleeves all the way. I still didn't go get a different bow, but a hair bow. I think she'll be fine for today. Let's go outside and see the mess. There is cilantro, spinach and cilantro, some spinach. And then the ones in the buckets here aren't even doing very good. They're kind of starting to get a little bigger, that spinach, but I don't know. And here's the hyacinths. Kind of hard to see them. Go this way. I really need to use the trimmer. That's why I'm adding some mess. We need a mow. But on the trimmer, I was <laughs> used it what a week and a half ago maybe, and I left it outside and the battery outside. So it got rained on and I'm letting it dry out really good before I charge it. There is some more spinach and cilantro trying to take over my little lilies over here. But there is three lily plants that came up. And this one's got some buds on it. over here. kind of wanted to show what those look like in the sunlight. They are just beautiful. I won't take you a walk everywhere. Um... This is wisteria. That's growing here. And the lilac bushes are really growing. Fire pit, we still haven't burned. It's so much rain lately. new lilies, the ones we planted around the hole are coming up. We're going to have to move the feeders because those are getting pelted with bird poop and they're poking holes in it, eating the seeds that fall because it's right above there. Right. Here's a new one. I really do need to work on this. There's a little fountain. See some more lily. Or lilac, sorry. I might have called the ones around the fence lilies, but they're lilacs. 
That's a new one too. Let me see if I'm even getting it in here. There we go, that one. Sorry, I haven't pulled weeds over here. I was working on the other side of the house and got too hot and sweaty. So I thought I said that was enough for today. The gladiolas are coming, whole bunches of them. They need some love and attention here. So big. Now here's the same new ones that I've been showing. And that guy I got long right there in the middle. So they're doing good. I mean, just walking a little bit in the yard. I'm just, I am dripping in sweat. You wouldn't believe it. It's so humid and there's no breeze. None. That's another new one. Well, it's those thick blades that are coming up. Those are all the gladiolas. There are wildflowers that will be coming up. Some have, but then they went. And the thing is, it's just, even like last year, they wanted to, uh, everything bloomed at separate times. So I'm hoping be more in sync. Not, those were planted last year and they're coming up. My husband says there's the purple ones, but I know that the yellow, where the bottom part of the bell goes to red. This one's yellow, just pure yellow, and it hasn't, or it's lost some of its color. I don't know if they bloom again, but. There's another of the new ones. But that's what I meant by mess. Oh my goodness, it's so full of overgrown, full of weeds. And this here is, a, I think it's called crimson honeysuckle. It's a color that means, or a name that means red. I think it was crimson, but it might be sangria or something like that. Honeysuckle. Doing really good. It's halfway up the fence there. I don't know if you probably can't see all of them, but halfway up. Oh. Tree, you need a trim. I actually cut that one down. Oh, I was cutting um, trees that are kind of growing in the wrong places up against the house and around the fence and that's why I didn't get that one over there that I just showed because I it's stuck one I'd cut so much got bark in there and I can't get the blade to pop out so I have to have my husband pull that out but anyway while I was doing that and going around the house oh, I found this really really long long snake skin I was really glad I didn't see the snakey Just trying to kill some time so I can have dinner. Still way too hot out here <sighs> to do work. Too hot for me. No breeze. It's... I'm not kidding. I can't even hardly see. I'm dripping in sweat so bad. Anyway, my husband hopefully will be home in a few hours. I don't know what time it is, but Hopefully it won't be too much of a late night, but you never know. It's day-to-day -day kind of thing. So, might have to eat dinner without him. But while I was just waiting around, I thought I'd 
go ahead and show all this overgrown because I'll probably show it when I get it all cleaned up. But, trying to let that battery get good and dry. So, these are not doing good at all. I found out why because it was it was completely drenched in water I mean overflowing with water and I poured it out and it just kept coming and coming and I started looking at that I was, it is not a flower pot it is just a bucket so my husband said he's gonna drill some holes in it but I don't even want this one here honestly but, yeah. so here's the high these are the hyacinths. So, the two that came up from last year, that came up this spring, um, already completely died out. So, yeah. I'm gonna put some wood chips around here. Not that it really doesn't help anything from stop growing, but make it look a little prettier. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great evening.